Bed Bath & Beyond is a large retail store that sells household tools and appliances. According to the Security and Exchange Commission website, the company was founded in 1971 by Leonard Feinstein and Warren Eisenberg. They have been doing well throughout the early 2000s. Around 2019, a large variety of factors led to a rise in inflation, which led to many businesses closing and changes being made to the way things operate. Bed Bath & Beyond is no exception, and need to start closing some of their stores and shutting down their sister location, Bye Bye Baby. According to the magazine Business Insider, Bed Bath & Beyond has closed around 860 stores across the world, and many other stores are doing the same. What happened to Bed Bath & Beyond is an example of what economic inflation can do to even massive corporations like these. Economic inflation is when there's so much capital running through the economy to the point its value starts to decrease. And that counts for any capital that anyone possesses from wealthy business owners to struggling families. According to the Chase Bank website, inflation is the rate at which the prices for goods and services rise over time, and it's an important economic indicator. The best way to fight inflation is to raise interest rates. Inflation is caused when companies raise their prices too high and cost too much money to run through a system. Rising interest rates makes it harder for companies to produce their products in bulk and causes more competition among companies. In our recent 2023 Time Magazine article about the philosophy of inflation and interest rates, they write that ph the philosophy is that if goods and services become too pricey, less people will buy them, and sellers will have to lower their prices to retain customers. Competition among companies encourages them to lower their prices and give more people access to their goods. According to the White House official website, competition leads to lower prices, higher quality goods and services, greater variety, and more innovation. Inflation is a major problem that affects thousands of people, including families and small businesses. I believe government actions can can and should be taken to help its production.